Hi, I'm James. In this video, I'm going to show you how to transform a detailed photo into an illustration, or some people like to call the effect an oil painting effect. And what it does is simply kind of mimics the effect of brush strokes. So let's just zoom into this image and take a look at the details. So as you can see, there's loads and loads of detail, and it's the images that you have with the most detail that seem to work best with this. So portraits, even landscapes work quite well. Basically, any kind of shot that you want to try, give it a go and see if it works and you'll get a feel for what works best. So let's get started by creating two copies of our background layer. So just hit Control and J twice. So what we're going to do here is just sharpen up the image. So go to Filter, go to Other, we're going to choose High Pass and then just set a pixel amount of about 2.5 pixels, hit OK. The image is obviously really grey, so we need to change the blending mode, so let's change it from normal to linear light. And now that looks absolutely awful, but don't worry, we're going to get that fixed. Next up, just hold down Ctrl and E, and that's going to merge that sharpened layer down into the layer below. Next we need to stylize the image so that it looks like it's got lots of little brush strokes. So we need to use a filter again. So obviously go up to filter, then stylize and click on diffuse. And we're going to go for anisotropic. So just click on that bottom option for the mode there. And then when you look in the window, you'll see it changes the way the image looks. So just hit OK there. And then that's going to take a few moments to actually render. And to avoid really strange little lines of pixelation, we're going to apply that effect with the image rotated. So go up to image and then image rotation and rotate 90 degrees clockwise. And if you press Ctrl and F, that's going to run the filter again. When that finishes, go back up to image. We're going to rotate it again. So we're going to go clockwise. So it's upside down now. Ctrl and F. That's going to run the filter and Let's rotate again, run the filter by pressing Ctrl and F, and then this last time we're just going to rotate the image to get it the right way up. So there you'll see in the window already it's getting much more of a kind of illustration look about it. So we're now going to add a bit of sharpening before we add a small amount of blur. So go up to Filter and then Sharpen, and we're going to go for Smart Sharpen. So the settings here are actually perfect. So we want 100% the radius to be one pixel and we'll just leave all of these as they are. So hit OK and then when that's finished we're going to go up to filter again, blur and then surface blur and here we're going to set the threshold to 15 and then the amount we're going to leave that around somewhere between 20 and 30. So let's take that down to 20, see how things are looking and if we just take it up to 30. So yeah, let's go for an amount of 30. So just hit OK. There we go, we've uh, completely transformed the photo into what looks like an illustration. And I'm just going to zoom out because one thing that really makes this effect pop out nicely is adding a boost of contrast. So I'm just going to create a levels adjustment layer and then I'm just going to bring the black and white points in. So there you'll see it just kind of makes it pop. That's possibly a bit too much, so I'm going to take each of those down to just 10 points. And there we go, so that's the effect. Let's zoom in so we can switch on and off the effect. So I'm just gonna group these layers very quickly so we can do it instantly. So there's our original shot, and there is our illustration, and it looks really good. So that is how to transform your photos into a kind of oil painting or illustration.